think we got enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. Oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that. Hello friends, thank you so much for clicking on today's video and if you are new here, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's cleaning motivation video. I'm bringing you guys two days of back to school cleaning motivation today, especially if you are like me and you're already back to school for the school year. This video is sure to give you lots of motivation to give your home a refresh and a reset for the new school year. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you and let's get right into it. We're gonna start in the kitchen for the beginning of today's video and all the stuff that you guys saw me clear off the kitchen table here is a bunch of new fall decor that I got and then a couple of things for school. And if you guys missed that video, I'll link it down in the description box. I did do a fall shop with me and a little decor haul. My next video is gonna be a tour of all of the home decor that I have for fall. So it'll probably be a while before I'm fully ready to decorate my home for fall. I am still somehow in summer mode even though yes, we are already back to school here um, where I live in Virginia and I am back to teaching in my classroom it still feels like it's summertime we started a couple weeks earlier this year than we normally do so normally when we start in September I definitely feel ready for fall but I'm just not ready to decorate and I'm just not ready to let go of the last bit of summer but I will be putting some fall decorating videos up very very soon let me know in the comments one thing that you guys are looking forward to this school year I know for me I'm looking forward to having my kids back in my classroom Room and a little bit more normalcy. I know the kids are looking forward to it as well. That's when I love you the most. Now I thought I should let you know. Yeah, no, no, what's no more. We don't know. No, what's no more. We don't know. No, what's no more. We don't know. No, what's no more. No, no. We don't know. No, what's no more. We don't know. No, what's no more. We don't know. No, what's no more. are going to see in today's video a few Josie appearances so I did want to make sure that I said over here as well as on Instagram thank you guys so much for all of your love and support if you guys don't follow me over on Instagram I do tend to post more day to day things over there but Josie was sick and has been sick for the last month um, she was very severely anemic we took her into the pet hospital and she had to have a blood transfusion, a ton of medications, and it was really touch and go there for several, several days. And Jack and I just came on Instagram and asked you guys to please pray for our kitten. Um, it was just a really tough time for us, and you guys really came through, and we cannot thank you guys enough for thinking of our family, praying for our family. It really means so, so much to us, so I did want to thank you guys again over here, even though I already have on Instagram. And she is doing a lot better, not completely out of the woods, so continue to keep our sweet girl in your thoughts and prayers it really does mean so 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 much to us mentioned my Keurig in one of my last videos and I just wanted to give you guys an update that I am really loving this Keurig. I'm just making some iced coffee for the week. I put it in this big mason jar and that's kind of where it lives. It doesn't last too long but what I love about this slim Keurig is it doesn't take up a ton of space but also it does make much larger cups of coffee than the mini Keurig that I have. I took the mini one back to my classroom and that one's perfect because I think it makes the max that it makes is like an eight ounce cup of coffee but this one will make up to 12 ounces so I can just use the reusable cake cut pods it does save so much money and it's also way less wasteful to use those reusable ones so that's just how I make my iced coffee so let's make it count you make me feel like everything's all right.
is as good a time as ever to give you guys a quick update too on what kind of house projects and renovation stuff is going on. I have not posted a renovation video in a really, really long time and that's honestly because we just haven't done any and I think this past year we were really burnt out during COVID. We did so many projects that um, really within the last year, Jack going back to work and me going back to work, we just kind of like slowed down on all the projects. We still have projects that are in the works. Um, we are currently working on the upstairs bathroom. So for those of you who are new, this is the downstairs bathroom, the only bathroom in the house that currently works. And so that means it gets a lot of traffic just coming in and out of here. Anyone who comes into the house uses this bathroom, which I of course don't love because I don't want all of the like toothbrushes and stuff like that out on the counter and deodorant out on the counter when there are like guests that are coming in and using this bathroom too so I can't wait to make this just a guests only bathroom since we are starting to renovate the upstairs bathroom we are going to try to make that as close to a master bathroom as possible there is only one um, hookup for a sink a single sink but the vanity that we got is huge and then the rest of the bathroom is going to look so nice when it's finished so that way it really does feel like an ensuite even though it's not it feels like a master even though it's technically not it is the only bathroom upstairs though I'm gonna do my very best to film as much of that as I can for you guys it is really hard when doing renovations in small spaces and also renovations that require a lot of all hands on deck it's hard for me to have a camera in my hand to film certain things at the very least I got tons of before footage and I'll get lots of after footage so however that video turns out be excited for it because I know that I am and I've been needing, needing the crazy And I gotta let it go So baby put the record on I'm not gonna need that song Hit it Don't laugh at the makeshift barricade that I have on the fireplace in this clip. I did eventually move it out of the way. Josie has been going into the fireplace and licking. I don't know what she's licking in there. Um, obviously, we don't use the fireplace or burn any wood in the fireplace, but I still don't like the idea of her going in there and licking stuff. I'm not really sure what it is. If any of you guys have a cat that randomly licks things. I'm not sure if it was because she was anemic and she was just searching for nutrients. I had read that online that like animals who are anemic or who have low red blood cells usually try to replenish their nutrients by finding like anything, literally anything to ingest. So we just didn't like the idea of her ingesting anything in the fireplace. So I boarded it up, but I was kind of toying with the idea of permanently putting something in the fireplace hole that would work for decor and also would keep her out of there since of course we don't really use it so if you guys have any suggestions for decor pieces that would look good inside the fireplace that could also keep her out of it I really want something that is dual purpose it has to look cute but it also has to be functional another season we leave behind another story that's got me blind
guys, I just got back from the grocery store and I wanna really quickly share with you my grocery haul for this week. This is probably like a couple weeks worth of food um, in some cases. All the stuff for dinners or stuff for dinners this week, but then I got a lot of snack stuff. And if you guys don't know, I'm a teacher, so I like to take a lot of snacks that are non-refrigerated and leave them at work so I can just kind of like have them if I need them. So I'm gonna start over here. Um, I grabbed a couple of frozen pizzas. I always like to have a couple of those in the, um, in the freezer so you know, in case Jack or I work late or something and we just need something quick to eat for dinner. Romaine lettuce so we can make salads. I have celery, apples, some green onions for a recipe. Um, we are out of sour cream, so I got some sour cream. I got these chips here for Jack. They're um, like potato chips, salt and vinegar. Um, this is the coffee that we like. I got a big bag because it was on sale. Um, so that's that. And then here's some snack stuff. So I got some Annie's uh, mac and cheese. I like to leave these at work in case I get hungry. Some Nature Valley protein bars, same thing. These are a great quick snack to grab. Same thing with the nuts. So I just like to have, obviously I don't eat all this at one time. I just like to have a variety in terms of like how hungry I am and what kind of snacks I'm, I'm looking for. So these are um, 100 calorie nut snacks. So that also helps because it's pre-packaged and I know exactly how many like calories and stuff I'm intaking. Um, tots are usually for breakfast. I had to replace my chocolate chips because I baked um, earlier this week. Cream cheese for a recipe that I'm making. I got one of these to take to work because I like to keep um, creamer in the fridge in the staff lounge for my coffee. This is zero sugar nut pods. If you guys have never had nut pods, it is super, super delicious. This is the caramel flavor, but you can see like the nutrition facts. It is just like really good and not bad for you at all. So a great creamer for your coffee. Leave that at work. These are buy one, get one. I have some fresh strawberries in the fridge, so I thought maybe I could do something like a fun little light dessert with this and um, like the strawberries. I got some crackers. Again, these are good snacks and things to take for work. We were out of spicy brown mustard, so I got some of that. Um, these are little olive snack packs. I love olives, so again, these are 40 calories, so a great little snack to take to work. These Nutella. Little cups are um, a good little snack, a little bit less of a healthy snack, but you know, those are super yummy to munch on. Couple of soups, I keep these in my classroom because they are the like microwave and drinkable ones. So that's always nice to have. Red sauce is for um, dinner tonight. We're gonna do like little mini pizzas. So I got that and then I'm gonna reuse the rest of it for pasta later the week. Some fresh green beans, I need to rinse those off. I needed more baking and cooking spray, so I got both um, baking and cooking spray. Some frozen veggies, just like to have on hand. The breadsticks that I love for Italian food, and then some more snacks. These are like the crackers and cheeses packed together. Super lazy, but you know, teacher life. <laughs> I just like to have everything convenient and like easy to grab. I don't know if I mentioned the Tyson chicken strips, but those are good on like salads and stuff since we like to eat salads. But this is pretty much everything for dinner for the whole week. I already had some other stuff, but then also plenty of snacks to take to work for quite some time. So now I'm gonna get to putting all of this stuff away. All right guys, I didn't get any footage of me putting the groceries away, but that is okay because we still have a bit more cleaning to do and we're on to day two. I decided to do all of the downstairs stuff on the first day and then all the upstairs stuff on the second day. I've been doing that lately with just kind of like dividing up my cleaning and it really does help so much. And those of you that have even bigger homes with more rooms up or downstairs, I'm sure you've got a system like that too where you just kind of have to mentally divide like what day you're gonna do what things. But anyway, we're gonna start out in my office for day two and I'm just gonna take care of everything on this desk. It just got way too cluttered. There were lots of papers piled up. There were medical things from Josie's vet appointments. There were wedding things. We have like brochures from photographers and from different venues, which by the way, we have picked our venue and I am super, super excited about it. I'm not giving away anything, but there are gonna be some wedding stuff and like wedding things that I will be sharing on my channel, but some stuff I do wanna keep a secret for a while just because I like the suspense and I want you guys to be able to see it. And I also know that several people who are attending my wedding do watch and follow my channel. So I don't wanna give away too much, but I had to put all that stuff away. I do have like a wedding binder where I keep a lot of that, that stuff in there. 
Um, and then in general, this room just needed to be tidied up a little bit. The carpet hadn't been vacuumed in a minute. And after I cleaned this room, I pulled out all that fall decor so I could get ready to film that video for you guys. So I had a lot to do up here. down thinking about him again i know that your heart's been broken you should try and let it go and start being yourself you, you. Last room that I have to tackle up here is the bedroom and there was so much dust everywhere. I am so bad about dusting and I I honestly think it's because I have light colored furniture that I just don't really notice the dust as much as I would on darker surfaces so it just kind of sits there unnoticed and then I go to wipe stuff down and it's pretty bad so I definitely needed to take care of the dresser the nightstands and even the closet door I'm gonna tackle as well just with all the louvers that are on it just really needed to be wiped down and there has been a little bit of a bug problem in the upstairs of the house and I don't know why I don't know if it's because it's been like raining a lot that all the bugs are coming inside but um, the other day Jack put a bunch of like bait and traps and stuff in like the attic up here hopefully to control the bug situation i feel like it's only this time of year when it rains that i see bugs in the house thankfully i don't see them all year round um, and i know that it's got to be due to humidity and weather I am considering buying a dehumidifier for upstairs just because it is also so uncomfortably warm. But if you guys have any other suggestions or even any at home remedies for getting rid of bugs, then I would super, super appreciate that. Just because having a pet, I always check the back of every single product that I buy because I don't want to get anything that's too toxic or anything that is not good for animals. And if it's not good for animals, I want to keep it as far away from her as humanly possible. So if you guys have any suggestions for bug home remedies, then let me know in the comments. Chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better All 
right, the fall decor bins are out and so that means the last thing I need to do in today's video is finish up vacuuming upstairs. And I am so excited to film my fall clean and decorate video for you guys. Like I said, it'll probably be a little while before I can actually get it up for you. Just because I'm not fully ready to decorate for fall yet, I just want to take a look at everything that I have and kind of assess if I need anything else. But anyway, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that this video gave you lots of cleaning motivation to kind of reset your home and get ready to go back to school. It is going to be a hopefully way better school year than last year. I hope that your kids have an awesome year at school. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you guys again really soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.